today we'll discuss how to compile Vivado simulation libraries. When you instantiate any Xilinx black box component in your design, ActiveHDL will look for the vendor libraries to define the functionality of the Xilinx components. Before performing simulation of this design, it is crucial not only to have the proper simulation libraries, but to have the correct version of the libraries as well. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to compile the vendor libraries in Xilinx Vivado and how to attach these libraries into ActiveHDL. We can view the installed libraries in ActiveHDL through the Library Manager. We can see here that we do not have the Xilinx libraries installed. We can then use Xilinx Vivado in order to obtain those libraries. There are two ways to compile the Vado libraries. The first one is through the Compile Simulation Libraries wizard. To access this, go to Tools and click Compile Simulation Libraries. Select your simulator, select the desired language, select the libraries that you'd like to compile, and a specific device family. Under Compile Library Location, select the destination folder that you would like to store the compiled libraries. Under the Simulator Executable Path, select the bin folder on the ActiveHDL install directory. If there are pre-existing libraries in the destination folder, check to overwrite the current pre-compiled libraries checkbox. If you would like further information during the compilation, check the verbose checkbox. Once satisfied with the settings, click compile. After the compilation is done, ensure that there are no errors in the compilation summary. Another way to compile the Vado library is to use the compile underscore simlib command. To use the compile underscore simlib command, use compile underscore simlib dash dir, specify the target directory of the library, dash simulator, Specify the target simulator dash simulator underscore exec underscore path. Specify the binary folder of active HDL. Lastly, specify additional arguments such as the verbose switch dash library if you want to specify specific libraries to be pre-compiled and dash family if you are targeting a specific device. After generating the compiled libraries in Vivado, they will need to be mapped into ActiveHDL so designs can properly reference these libraries. To do this, open up the Library Manager. Click on the Attached Library icon. Specify the library that you would like to attach. And then click Open. As you can see, the Unifast library has been attached in read-write mode. To protect the libraries from modification, change it to read-only mode. You may also map the libraries using the amap command. In the console, type amap space dash global switch to specify it's a global library space the logical name of the library in this case unifast underscore ver space the location of the precompiled lib file. Map the rest of the precompiled libraries to finish and double check to ensure that their mode is set to read only. After mapping the libraries you can then start the simulation. Feel free to reach us if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.